Hello, everyone. Today we will talk about the poem "Yin Jiu Qi Wu" by Tao Yuanming. I prefer to call this one as "Cai Ju Dong Li Xia." Personally, Tao Yuanming was so called the founder of Shan Shui Tian Yuan Shi, who is lived in the Dongjin Dynasty. 饮酒，起舞。陶渊明。结庐在人境，而无车马喧。问君何能尔？心远，地自偏。采菊，东篱下。悠然。见南山，山气日夕佳，飞鸟相与还。此中有真意，欲辨以忘言。We have introduced the leader of Shan Shui Tian Yuan Shi, who is Meng Haoran and Wang Wei. We have his. Poem Chun Xiao yesterday, and today we'll talk about the founder of Shan Shui Tian Yuan Shi, Tao Yuanming, and his poem Yin Jiu, Qi Wu. So Yin Jiu is drinking wine. Qi Wu is he wrote a series of poem on drinking wines. This is the fifth poem. Jie Lu Zai Ren Jing, Er Wu Che Ma Xuan. I built my house at the places where people lived, and there's no noises of the horses and the cars of the horses. So, Lu is the house, but it's rather humble and made of grass, so very primitive, uh, for poor man. And、uh, Ren Jing is the place where people. Lived so it's、uh, compared to the places of wild place or compared to the place of the fairy tales that, that the fairy、uh, people lived. Er wu che ma xuan. So actually, this implies it's a quite rural place, countryside, because in ancient China is quite structured. Uh, society and the, the the things you use or the food you can eat is defined to different level of people. So you can have horse, you can have the、uh, cars. It's uh, normally it's a normal people,、uh, noble people, or it's a people of high ranking officials. Otherwise. You are on your foot, or you can have the car of the、uh, bulls. 君何能尔？心远地自偏。So the question to actually to the poet him himself. So why can't you build the house and leave the、uh, place with no no noise? It doesn't sound like the behavior you should have, and、uh, the answer is he answered himself. 心远地自偏 So my heart is away from the noises. Actually, it means from the noises, from the、uh, vanity affairs, and、uh, so. Even here has a lot of people around me. I lived, but the place is actually is very remote place, like a wild place, just because of my feeling and thinkings. There is some controversy in these four sentences. The poet lead a humble life, surrounded by the neighborhoods of people. Anyhow. He feels so alone. It does not belong to the neighborhoods. 
at his sink. He's the person who should riding the horses, taking the political powers. So this is a controversy. And also, he, his heart is remote, so which implies something is very near. The political power is very near. I th- I think this refers to the distance, the geographical distance. So it's not far from the political power, the place, but his heart is remote, and this. Make this place、uh, away from the political power, from the capitals, maybe. So this also implies he lived in a pure rural areas with no upper level people around. Anyhow, it's not far away, so he can ride a horse or walk on his foot in one day to the capitals. So he, there's still some lot of the political things in his mind, and which is another controversy. 采菊东篱下，悠然见南山 Most famous sentences in this poem. So I'm collecting the chrysanthemum flowers at the east fence in my garden, actually, and.、Uh, I happily saw the South Mountains in the distance. So here is two points to need pay special attentions. The chrysanthemum flower. So in Chinese band, the the flowers opened blossom in the autumn and winters is the very. Good flowers, pre- prestige, noble flowers, and the flowers opens in the springtime is quite average, just like the humans. So the flowers, chrysanthemum flowers, is a symbolic flowers for the especially for the intellectual peoples that is.、Uh, With very pure、uh, and with、uh, its endearing、uh, flowers, and also another flower, plum flowers, is also very noble and、uh, is appreciated by the Chinese. And sometimes, in some senses, is treated as、uh, the flower of the, of the state, the plum flowers. So here, the the A、uh, poet point out in his garden is chrysanthemum flowers. It's innocent, it's pure, pure, and it's very endurement flowers. And the other word is Nanshan. So in normal cases, because he's lived in Jiujiang City today, at that time it's called Xunyang City. It's a very nice place, just along the Yangtze River, and the、uh, the South Mountain is Lushan, so it's a very famous mount mountain in China,、um, like the Huangshan, the mountain of Yellow Mountain, the Huashan, the Taishan, it's almost as famous as those mountains, and also the second biggest lake. On the Yangtze River, Poyanghu is at this place. So this city、uh, is along the Yangtze River, along the second largest lake on the Yangtze River, Poyanghu, and also the、uh, Lushan, the very very famous、uh, mountain, is roughly fifteen twenty kilometers. South to the city and south to the、uh, Yangtze River, and the mountain is at the east side of the、uh, Poyang Lake. So it's a very, very scenic place.
I've been there. Try to find time to visit this small and nice and very scenic cities. And there's、uh, another interpretation on the South Mountain is because the most famous South Mountain, Nanshan, actually is the Qinling today. The mountain appears again and again in the Tang poems as Zhong Nanshan or sometimes Nanshan, and、uh, Nanshan is a very very long mountain from the west to the east, several hundred、uh, kilometers long. So it has also have a lot of other names. One is Shangshan, and in the Han Dynasty or in the early Han or the End of Qin Dynasty. There's a very famous story about four old people, noble people,、uh, and they saw the political, the country is so corrupted and it's a, such a mess. So they they just leave this city, leave their castle. Maybe they have the castles, and they went to the wild mountain, Shangshan. Is at the not far from the Hua Hua Shan Hua Mountain, so it also belonged to the Nan Shan. So they went there and they became a very famous story. They eat the grass. They 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 their、uh, hair is white, so as called Shang Shan Si Hao Hao means white hair. And、uh, so someone thinks the Nan Shan the South Mountain here. Refers to the、uh, that story that for old peoples. So Nanshan here actually the symbolic that the poet、uh, point out that he, he is a follower to that for old people in the end of Qin Dynasty. 山气日夕佳，飞鸟相与还。山气 the fresh air from the mountain, and 日夕 is the at the dusk time. So it's a, at the dusk time the fresh air from the mountain is so fresh and very nice. And 飞鸟相与还相与 is a, a company in a group. So the birds is coming back to his or her nestles. 此中有真意，欲辨已忘焉。So there must be something truth in it. 欲辨已忘焉。So when I want to、uh, recognize and explore it a little more, but I just don't know how to put it. 陶渊明 ，the founder of the Sanskrit poetry. The poem for the mountain rivers and the farming fields. He was belong to the up level families of Dongjin, so he was destined to do the same job. Anyhow, the position he got in whole in his whole life were low positions. It changed, changed, and still low positions. So in his fifties, sorry, forties, one day he said, "I won't bow over to the higher officials anymore, just for a very few rice and、uh, bread." 不为五斗者米折腰 very famous sentences. So he just quit the job and go to the Uh, countryside. So this is the poem describing the situation here. And later on, he drink, he farm, writing poems, and he created the type of the Shan Shui Tian Yuan Shi. And he died roughly in his sixties in a very poor life. He was not so famous. During the time, but it's very famous locally in Jiujiang area, of course, and the 
uh, local governors uh, of his friends to send his money uh, in occasionally. So it, because he write very good poems, and he also has a write a very famous article called Tao Hua Yuan Ji. It's just like the Shangri La uh, to Chinese, and the the name Tao Hua Yuan Ji is the Shangri La. Like the Shangri-La to, to the European peoples, so he created a lot of number ones. Guiyin, or to be a hermit, is a big topic in Chinese culture. So it starts very early、uh, in the Zhou Dynasty and the, at the end of Qin Dynasty. That we, as we told the Shangshan Sihao, the four. Elder people in、uh, Nanshan in the Shangshan, and the timing is is to be thought to follow the four elder peoples. But since Tao Yuanming, the、uh, Guiyin, to be a hermit,、uh, sounds like a formal career path to the peoples, because before that, it's quite extraordinary peoples and. Really happened. It is Tao Yuanming, and his poem made the hermit as a sound career path to, to the peoples. Another big group of people that、uh, become hermits is who have religious pursuit. There's a book, right, several years ago by an American,、uh, Bill. Porter, I I think is the English name. The name of the book is、uh, "Road to Heaven: Encounter with Chinese Hermits." So this is a big group of people to become a hermits. This book describes the situation and hermits nowadays, who is lived in the Nanshan, the South Mountains, which is mentioned. Many times in Tang poem as well, south to Xi'an, south to Chang'an, big mountains, Qinling, Zhong Nanshan, oh Nanshan. There is a big differences between the hermits in Dongjin, the Tao Yuanming's time, and the Tang Dynasty. The Dongjin is very weak, corrupted, eroded、uh, dynasty. So it's getting weaker and weaker. So the Tao Yuanming has the ambitions to contribute and change the situation, as his ancestors, but he failed. Finally, he failed. So it's a sort of hopeless and no way feelings for Tao Yuanming. So he always want to try to get a position and to do something, but he has hasn't the ability. Or hasn't the, don't have the condition to do that. In Tang Dynasty, the country is very strong.、Uh, the the there's a lot of conquering in the frontiers. So there's a, a huge demand for the、uh, peoples, and also the government government has invented the exams to so they can have the new hands, new peoples to come in. Not only the、uh, peoples from the upper level families, from the noble families, so the average people can pass the exam to do, to try to contribute to the country and to do something big. But the difference is there's no much positions like the poem we pointed out in Chunxiao by Meng Haoran yesterday. That so there's still a bunch of people. They have the ambitions. They want to get a position to do something, but they failed because of the situation. So there's the difference is quite、uh, subtle because for Tao Yuanming it's hopeless. For the people of Tang, it's not all about hopeless because there is a way ahead, and someone go up. To the ladders, and they contribute a lot to the countries. 
but why not me? So the differences. So as far as you can taste the difference, you are almost a Chinese. So with all this background, let's review the poem again and see if we can taste the difference. 结庐在人境，耳无车马喧。Hmm, very good. I became a hermit now. 问君何能尔，心远地自偏。So the remote and、uh, solitude sounds like he's okay, but he asks himself. Actually, he's asking the question to let someone else hear it. Explanation to others. So this、uh, third and fourth sentence is、uh, explanation to others. So is this a hermit's behavior? No. Hermes never explains. 采菊东篱下，悠然见南山。Wow, what a beautiful sense! I like it. Most famous sentences, and cited generations by generations by the intellectual people. 此中有真意，欲辨已忘言。There's still some people around. The poet. So you try to tell the truth to him. Is it a hermit? I don't think so. And for the writing skills in the Tang's poem, the Shan Shui Tian Yuan Shi is always about the mountains and rivers and farming fields. There's no truth at all because you are the hermit. You lead the hermit's life. You don't care about the country. You don't care the positions. You don't care the country is there or not. So what you care is 结庐在人境，而无车马喧。That's hermit. 采菊东篱下，悠然见南山。What a beautiful and enjoyable scenic. Anyhow, the flowers. Is symbolic, so the poet still tells something from the describing of the、uh, scenarios. Of course, Nanshan is the same thing; it's symbolic to the four elder peoples. So, uh, but in the Tang's poem, there's no questions that asks asks to tell the serious, to tell the、uh, something. Or his own thoughts to other peoples, like 此中有真意，欲辨已忘言。I want to tell you, but I don't know how to tell you. Not a word in Tang poem. Tao Yuanming was not so famous as today in his lifetime. He became more famous and more famous, and he has so strong impact to the. Followers, Shan Shui Tian Yuan Shi, all to the culture of the Chinese intellectuals because of Gui Yin, the hermit things. And、uh, one of the biggest poet, famous poet Su Shi in Song Dynasty, has said、uh, Tao Yuan Ming's poem as it looks very humble, primitive. But actually, it's so beautiful, so colorful. It refers to the sentences and the words, writing skills. And the second、uh, about is, it looks like very slim, but actually it's very abundant. This refers to the content. It looks like it's very simple, has nothing at all. But actually, the context, the content in the poem is so abundant. Actually, this is the final goal for Chinese classic poem. Let's read once more. 结庐在人境，而无车马喧。采菊东篱下。
悠然见南山。Enjoy. This one is the must know for Chinese intellectual.